We are back at the Home Depot Center in Los Angeles, California, getting set for the Moto X Freestyle Final. And you are looking at Bilko, Lake Williams. After my last run at X Games, I uh, knew I did good. I didn't know I won yet, but I decided to go stride my bike. You know, just I was excited, and just pump up the crowd. So as I pulled off on my last jump, about five seconds after I finished. As I put my feet down, I caught something and I felt it playing the ACL to snap like a rubber band. I sucked it up and, you know, gritted my teeth and waved my arms and put my hands up to the crowd. It turns out I was still on live TV. And everyone's like, oh, I think he's hurt his knee. What's up? This is Bill Coe, Blake Williams, 24 years old, professional freestyle motocross rider in here to get my knee reconstructed and an arthroscope and a plate and four screws taken out of my foot. He's the quintessential athlete, which is you crash your bike, you go in and you want the front fix, the back fix, the engine fix, and that's what he wanted. He wants plate out of my foot, get my ACL fixed, and then as soon as that's done, let's talk about my shoulder. So, you know, he's, he's going for the 10,000 mile uh, tune-up right now. I'm hoping to get out of this surgery with a um with a good knee for once. So I kind of inherited bad knees from my dad and my grandpa, but I didn't really help the course by jumping on a dirt bike and falling off it. So hopefully, you know, this one heals up pretty good and I give it enough time to rest. And usually I'm back on the bike in about five months. It's always funny when uh, motocross guys ask me, hey, when can I get back on the bike? And anybody who knows the motocross guys means they're not talking about putting around. They want it full throttle. That's what they mean by back on the bike. Let's see if we get a 360. And we do. Oh, oh squirrel dog and it man down. I think the anesthesiologist is ready. We'll get started. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Is your happy juice? Yeah, You're gonna be feeling good. mighty good. <laughs> so you get a couple of hours. Yeah, Phil, really good. Thank you. Which part of Australia did you grow up in? Uh, I lived in this, when I grew up, I lived in the same house for 20. Uh, what year was I? Uh, uh, <laughs> I was six. <laughs> He's chatting. Scar tissue in there, huh? This is a light cord right here, just so we have light in there. And then here is just an outflow, just so that, because we're doing, it's running water through the joint so that everything is basically underwater. The type of surgery did is what's called a revision ACL. A revision ACL is a time when a surgery has already been done and retore. And so a revision is you have to go back in, take out that graft, put in a new one. What we did this time is we went ahead and used part of his hamstring tendons for two reasons. One is his hamstring tendons were very robust, so it gave us an excellent tendon. And secondly, secondly is we find that your own tissue will basically incorporate much faster and usually stronger than a cadaver one. It was a little tricky on the femoral side because where the previous tunnel was, was just off enough that I had to sort of work around it without allowing our new tunnel to fall into his old tunnel. So that, that was a little bit tricky. And also the tunnel on the tibial side was a little bit wide, so we had to do a little finagling on that. But the good news is, is that uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't undoable. Okay, now what we're doing is, you see this little absorbable screw right here? Looks pretty big. And it is, and that's our cross pin. Both strands, and we loop them over the end of that cross pin, so they're coming over like that. They're hanging on to it like that. And that cross pin goes through about two thirds of the way through. So now what we're looking at now is we basically put our finger right here to check what we call isometricity. Make sure that that graft stays absolutely isometric all the way through range of motion. So when he lands like this, doesn't blow his ACL because there isn't there's undue tension on it, but it's absolutely perfect. You got a ton of scar tissue here. 
as the motocross guy will tell you himself, your careers and the time in between seasons is fairly short. So for that reason, we really ramp up our rehabilitation time. We, you know, a lot of times, even with regular people, we may get them back after our ACL reconstructions at five to six months, where in our motocross race, it's probably four and a half, five months. I'm not gonna let them go back any sooner. There he goes. I'm kind of try, struggling to keep my eyes open, but I feel pretty good, do I look good? So, um, I know I just woke up, and um, I remember being awake about half an hour ago, and trying to talk, but it's all been kind of slurring me words. Hey, thanks for hanging with me, SBN, for my knee operation.